Happy Friday, everyone! Whoop, whoop. Okay, so the last section for the Give Me Five for page number three, Friday. All right, let's knock these problems out. All right, so the first column is underline, I'm sorry, round to the underline place value. So the place value that is underlined right now is the hundreds place. That six in the hundreds place. Here, I'm going to show y'all. Here we go. So we have 301,652. And the place value that is underlined is the hundreds place. So they want to know, are we going to round down to 301,600 or round up to 301, 700. Those are the nearest hundreds, okay? So it's underlined. And remember, when we're rounding, we underline the place value they want us to, to round to, which is the hundreds place. That's why the six is underlined. And then we're going to circle the number to the right. Circle the number to the right. So then now, you should have the five circled, the six underlined. Because that number that we circle is going to let us know, are we going to round up or are we going to round down? And this is when the rounding rule comes into play. Five or more, raise the score. Four or less, let it rest. So let's take a, take a look at the number that we circled. The number that we circled is five. Okay? Five is going to fall under the five or more, raise the score rule. So we're going to raise the score which means round up to the nearest hundred. And our final answer is 301, 700. 301, I'm sorry, 301,700. The next column, it wants you, hello. Hey boo, I'm, I'm filming a video right now. Okay, I will. Uh, love you. Okay, love you too. All right, bye. Sorry about that, but I can't stop the video because I don't know how to edit yet. So just, here we go. Next column, decimal to fraction, three-fourths. Three-fourths. Again, this is a benchmark fraction, okay? So I like to think of money when I think of benchmark fractions. Three-fourths, okay, so... Our denominator is four. So what coin, what coin do we know that if we had four of those same coins, it would make a dollar? And in this case, a dollar is a whole. That's right, a quarter. A quarter, which is 25 cents. So three quarters is 75 cents. Now how do we write that as a decimal? Zero decimal 75. 0 decimal 75. That is the equivalent decimal to 3 fourths. Okay, next column. Decimals. They're wanting you to subtract 21 minus 3 and 23 hundredths. Let me say that again. They want you to subtract 21 and subtract 21 minus 3 and 23 hundredths. Here we go, right there. Okay, first things first, the top, the top number is gonna be the biggest number. So it's going to be 21 decimal zero, write it just like how they gave it to you, minus three and 23 hundredths. Now, remember to line up the decimals like the buttons on your shirt. So three decimal two, three. So when you set it up, it should look like this. See how my decimals are lined up? Perfect, now we can start. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and add a placeholder zero right here above that three so that that three has something to subtract from. So I'm gonna do that. I don't have another color with me currently. So I'm gonna, I'm going to dot that in. Let me see that. I dotted that zero in just so you can see that we added that placeholder zero. All right, now we can subtract. Zero minus three. Can I give Jalissa three pieces of candy if I have zero? No, so I have to go to my next door neighbor. 
you know what? I'm gonna do this on my whiteboard so that y'all can see it. It's it's too little on the paper. 21. I have my other color. Bam. 21 minus 3 and 2, 3. First time using this turquoise color. It's so pretty. Okay. So, Jalissa needs three pieces of candy, but I can't give her any because I have none, so I have to go to my neighbor. My neighbor doesn't have any candy either, but two doors down, my neighbor does. So the one, he's, he's gonna give this one to this zero over here to make it a 10, and this one, ooh. This one becomes a zero, just like that. But I still need candy to give to Jalissa, so he's going to give me one. So that 10 becomes a 9. And that one that he gave me is going to give this 10. I mean, give that 0 and make it a 10. So now you should have the numbers 10, 9, 0 at the top. Okay? Well, now we can subtract starting in the hundreds place because that's the smallest place value that we have. 10 minus 3. Okay, that's some mental math right there. 10 minus 3 is 7. 9 minus 2, 7. Sorry, the glare's kind of bad. Drop your decimal. Now, can I give Jordan three pieces of candy if I only have zero? No, I can't, so I have to go to this neighbor and he's going to give me one. And that one is going to make that zero a 10. 10 minus 3 is 7. That two becomes a one because it gave it gave that zero one, and you just bring it on down. Your final answer is seventeen and seventy seven hundredths. So write that in the column labeled decimals. All right. Next problem. Next column is the solvent label strip diagram part part whole. Okay, we are missing the whole, but we have our two parts. So I'm going to go ahead and label uh, my strip diagram. I have my two parts and I'm missing my whole. Now, if you remember what I said in the other videos, when we're talking about strip diagrams, okay, when you have your whole, like in the previous problem, when you have your whole and you're missing a part, you're going to subtract. But when you have your parts and you're missing your whole, you're going to add because these two parts together will make up this whole strip, okay? So then let's go ahead and line up those numbers by place value and let's add to find our answer. 789 plus 369. So you should have set it up like this on your paper, okay? And then we always start in the smallest place value, and that is the ones place right now. So nine plus nine is 18. Drop the eight, carry the one, okay? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start from the top. One plus eight is nine, plus six is Fifteen, drop the five, carry the one. Seven plus one is eight, plus three. Eleven, and I know my comma goes right here. My final answer is 1,158. 1,158. So if you wanna go to your Gimme Five paper, and our missing, our variable, which represents the unknown and what we we're solving for, was W. So if you want to put W equals 1,158 on your paper, that would be great. Okay? And then we have our last column, the basic multiplication facts that you need to learn, like how you learned how to write your name. 9 times 9 is 81. 
81. 9 times 9 is 81. All right, next one. 11 times 11 is 121. 11 times 11 is 121. Next one. 12 times 12 equals 144. 12 times 12 is 144. 12 times 12 is 144. Mm -hmm. Bam! And boys and girls, just like that, we have completed this week's Give Me Five, page number three. Children, make sure you go to Google Classroom, go to Classwork, click on this week's game board, and you'll find the Google Forms Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And all you have to do is plug in the answers that we solved together on these videos. And make sure you scroll all the way down Click submit so that you can receive credit. All right, boys and girls, make sure you tune in next week for page number four's Give Me Five, and I will see you then. Bye.